your favorite part of racing on the scissors was just racing with the animal and having him protect you <laughs> yeah kind of plus also i love the the track at san Bernardino because people a lot of people will all vouch there was always plenty of dirt on that track on, on the oh, outside yeah. and and uh you know i was pretty good on the outside i liked riding the outside and uh you know i might not have only rode with jim i might have rode with mark cherry uh as well and i yeah, i don't think i rode with ronnie preston as as a teammate if you will uh, as a you know like a, a one and two each race but uh, just being a part of the camaraderie and the team and you know being you know god damn me i get to be part of this stuff i mean this is pretty cool this is stuff like rick woods and sunny nutter and and penhall and you know bass and all these guys and you know here i am i'm a little younger than them all but i was shit i was part it of was, it uh you know kind of, it was kind of an honor but it was also a, a huge opportunity for me to take it all in you know uh, oh. and, and i think i did i uh i wore well doing it and uh you know had some good races and beat some really good people out there you were you were definitely the youngest writer because we were the same age and i was i was just kind of starting to get to d1 at the time and I wanted to race the team, and I look at the program, and there's you again ahead of me. <laughs> you were on the Sizzlers. I had the Sizzler leathers, though. I didn't have the orange ones back then, right? <laughs> no, you did. You had the white. I think white and what was the other color? The Sizzlers. They were white, orange, blue, and orange. I think across the chest. Said Sizzlers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I remember. Pretty cool. What was your point average on that? Because I noticed the program, and I know it was maybe a. I actually went in all the programs just recently and saw you. You were you had only a three point average at the beginning. What was your average when you finished? I couldn't tell you, man. I could not tell you. I, I would hope that it would have got better than that for sure. Uh, you know, maybe I was picking up third places all the time. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, I just saw one thing. I can't recall, <laughs> but I know that uh, you know later on in the year, or you know, I, I I think I did pretty well from. Well, I, I like to think so, anyways. You know, you I'm did a, for your age. You were uh, awesome. Certainly wasn't the best guy out there, but uh, I'm a, I was a quick learner. Oh, I mean, for your age, I mean, you did amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. You should really be commended for that. You know, being on the. I was hoping they would be racing two years, the team racing, because I wanted to be on the team and want, no more. Right, right. Yeah, I, I guess it just didn't uh, just didn't have the following like like the good old, you know, scratch program and, you know, some handicap races in there, you know, back from the 50 yard line and, you know, Woods and Nutter and those guys just coming from the 50 just or maybe the 60. I think shit, they were they were halfway around the third and fourth turn before they even started. You know, and so, uh, uh, you know, you know, as you got older and you got wiser, then you, you started getting quicker and quicker. And then, no, you know, you know who to who to rub on and who not to rub on for sure. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, that's really cool. And um, and um, I was going to ask you, you had a really good life here in California and you had sunshine, you had warm weather, you had a nice family and everything what motivated you to leave all that and to go over to england and race for the whole vikings in 78 was he 79 79, and 80 79 yep 79 yep and then how was your experience racing for hall well there there again the reason why i went to hall is because of ivan i wanted to ride with ivan and learn from ivan and then kelly moran was already there so shit, man this one of my brothers so Let's go there because it was kind of in between uh, Hull and Coventry. Oli Oli Olson came over and uh, we talked a little bit, and I had a tough decision to make. But uh, like I said, Ivan was my hero back in the day, and so that's where I went. When Deb and I, Deb and I arrived at uh, Heathrow, we're like, "What the hell are we doing here, man? It's freezing ass <laughs> cold." I believe it was even oh. it was even by the time we got to Leeds up to. Uh, up to Ian's house, it was snowing, and it's freezing ass cold. Like, how are we racing this stuff? What the heck are we gonna do? And 
so yeah we you know it was a huge culture shock and then you know hey ian uh, can we stop at mcdonald's get something to eat on the way yeah right what well, mcdonald's there's none of that over here there's you know no fast food no taco bell no del taco burger king or any of that you know you want some sausage eggs beans and chips sure why not and we grew up on <laughs> I grew up on pretty much that all the time because it was a big, good, hearty meal and get some fuel in you, you know. But uh, actually, uh, I really had it well down there uh, with the team, the Hall, hall Riders and all of the uh, officials and Ian and uh, uh, Brian, uh, Brian Larner and all the boys, Frank Offred, Graham Drury, Bobby Beaton, Ivan Kelly. Uh, you know, they really helped me out and Kelly really did a lot uh, because he was already there for a year and you know I was a buddy so and plus we lived in the same house with uh, a wonderful wonderful woman Veronica Chapman and her husband and daughter um, uh, Rennie they were we, we lived in their house because Adrian uh, her husband was a uh, he was a uh, engineer on a freighter, so he was gone a lot. So uh, Ian got set up with Veronica, and so Kelly and I and Deb moved into Veronica's house with her, and she treated us so sweet and uh, amazing. She was just like our mom from from across the pond. I mean. Uh, she she fed us. She did our washing. She cleaned up after us. Uh, you know, my favorite meal, and it still is to this day, that that she used to make was uh, pork chops, mashed potato, mashed potatoes, gravy, and Yorkshire pud. <laughs> and Debbie still makes it now. Uh, I mean, and that's every time I every time she makes it, it just brings back those memories of staying at Veronica's house, and. Uh, Kelly and I used to have a little, uh, uh, like a little shed shack out in the back that we used to work on the bikes. And we had a couple Lanas uh, with bike racks on the back and the bumper. And that's how we used to get the bikes around to and from. But, you know, it, it was a place called Easington, which was all the way down at the North Sea. And just to get into Hull was about 30 to 40 minute drive. You know, if we knew what we knew later on in life we probably wouldn't have moved down there that far away from everything you know bruce and bobby they're all down in the midlands and you know ronnie preston is all the way down in pool or whatever it's like jesus pool that's like the other end of the freaking world and we used to have to drive at least once a year from hull because we were in the same in the same league or whatever as them so it was always uh, but then we get to go to the place from hull to pool. I mean, I think it oh. was, it must have been 400, 500 miles, it seemed like, anyways. But then afterwards, we stay, either we go home or we stay at the Middle Ditches house or there uh, at the, uh, uh, what's it called, Buckley House? At Buck Jesus. You know Middle Ditch? You know Neil? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we used to stay there at their, oh. at their, at their place there with all those rooms, like a hotel. Hotel Middle Ditch. Cool. I think that's where Ronnie kind of Very lived cool. too. Ronnie Preston. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's you know, Hall was the the starting of it all. And just to get to ride there and you know, maybe it wasn't the I know a lot of the other teams and the other guys hated to come up there because the track was rough, it was narrow, and the dirt was black, and it got your bikes filthy dirty. And uh, you know, plus it was a long ways to come, you know, from the Midlands or whatever. You know, where it had all those tracks right in, right in that in that general area, you know, kind of uh, more concentrated, if you will, than up than up north. We used to go up to Newcastle and we went up to, uh, geez, Glasgow. Uh, you know, rode up there once or twice or whatever, which is there again. It's a uh, it's up further up north, but still quite a drive. 